Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Flux Bullet. Create consistent characters for any scene with AI. So the first thing I want to let you know for this one is we're going to use the lies. There is the repository from GitHub. It's from to the beginning and this will be under Bullet. So there is going to be two options here. One is which is you can download this local file, save it to your computer, and basically that's going to be the first one. Second option is we're going to utilize the online version. Under the online version, you're going to have this results right here. You can either use it on Hugging Face or Replicate. Let's go to the Replicate version right now. Perfect. For this one, this is going to be Flux Bullet under ZX, uh, ZSX KIB. It's going to be using the Replicate version. But for this one to be utilized, you need to pay for at least $0.018, not even a cent. Now, this is going to be a paid version, but it's going to be online. For this video, we're going to utilize a free trial of the free version, which is Hugging Face. So this is going to be the Hugging Face user interface. Before we get started for this one, I want to show you the samples created using this Bullet Flux AI. So right here, we have the samples. This is the reference image and it created so much character. You can even create a version or younger version of yourself, a Lego version and the works. So let's try it right now and go back on Hugging Face. Perfect. Once we're back here, basically, I have a video on how to utilize Hugging Face, so please check it out. Now for this one, you're going to have your prop section right there. This is the part on the right side where you can get or generate the image. Enter your reference image right here, and this are going to be the metrics. Before we get started for this one, I'm going to generate my very own image using Idigram. Perfect. Now once we're back here, I'm using Idigram because upon experience, it gives out the most realistic images. Now I'm using Idigram 2.0, make sure you're utilizing the one that says 2.0. I have a video about this one, fully utilizing explaining how it works, so please check it out. Now for this, I'm going to simply type my woman taking a selfie. Easy as that, I just want to create some um very realistic prompt here. I'm going to go for realistic for the style. And basically for this one, simply click on generate. Now it's currently generating. This will take around a minute or two. I'll get back to you once it's here. Well, welcome back to the video. We have four results right here. As you can see right there, they're all very realistic. Now you can see right here, there is still a waiting time to generate some more. So for the meantime, I'm going to utilize what I have here and focus on this one right there. It's the most realistic one I have. Now to download this photo right here, simply click on the three dots right there. Look for download. Now you cannot really use the PNG because that's for the paid subscription. I'm going to go for the JPEG right there. And we have it right here. Let's go back on pull it, hugging face. Now once you're back here, basically upload the image as a reference. Now once uploaded the image, let's now work on the prompt. I have a very specific prompt here and as always say on my videos, to get the best results you're looking for, have a very detailed prompt. This one right here. So I have a cinematic movie style of a woman standing alone in a dim lit street at night with dramatic lightning casting shadows across her face. Now time for the metrics. These are going to be the metrics. I'm not going to touch anything here, but the most important part would be the guidance. By default, it will be 4, but make sure you always put this one to 2 or 2.5. Upon trial, give us the best results regarding 2.5 and 2. Please do not leave it as 4. And right now, simply click on this one that says generate. And let's wait for it to generate. Now, welcome back to the video. This is going to be the results we have right there. So again, if you want to full screen it, click on those buttons right there. And this is what we have. Now, that is a really good image considering the angle, the face, the consistent characters are there. Now, to compare this one, let me just pull out this one right there. And let me pull out the image from earlier. Now, this are going to be the comparison, direct comparison of the two. Now, tell me that isn't really consistent. Yes, I know the hair for the second one is a bit longer, but the face, the angle, the eyes are there. Even the hand holding her neck is going to be right there. Especially the background we have here is going to be dimly lit studio. Now, let's try some more example, but take note, always add this words right here, like cinematic movie of a woman standing alone. Now, let's try this one. A cinematic movie, still a woman standing alone in a park, basically with that one. In a greenish lively i'm gonna go for park and basically for this one i'm gonna simply click on generate take note i always say for the guidance 2.5 to 2.6 is the best spot right there 
I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is what we have. It's gonna be a lively green park. Pretty awesome, right? Now, for example, you want to upscale this image a little bit more. Simply download it first by that button right there. And let's use this new hugging face feature. So this is going to be the link if you want to copy it. And basically input your image here. I'm going to paste this one, the one we have created from earlier. And for this, I'm going to click the number or scale factor rather to 1.5. Now, once I click 1.5 right there, I'm going to leave it as it is for the number of interference and steps. Click on submit and wait for it to finish. This is entirely for free by the way, and will only take me around 12 seconds for this one. So let's just wait for it to finish. And then this is what we have. Again, the input on the left side, output on the right side, consistent characters all the way. And basically that's it. Now, if you want to utilize this one, for example, your newly upscaled photo and add some more motion to it, turn it into a video, a short video rather, you can use so much AI. We have Kling AI, Luma AI, and we have video AI. Each one of those, I have a video on how to utilize and use them, so please check them out. Now for this part right here, we're gonna make them move. Every generation we did earlier, and some I did earlier also, well, let's try making them move. For example, we're gonna utilize Kling AI and Luma for this part. So I have videos about them, so please check them out. Speaking of Kling, make sure you image the video 1.5 right there, paste the image and basically generate it. But I'm not quite sure what's happening because it's taking a very long time to generate. So let's focus first on Luma. Now here in Luma, simply place the photo right there. And then simply click on generate for this one. And we're going to have this sample right here. As you can see, the original image is the one from earlier. Let me just pull it out right there. So you guys can properly see it. It's going to be this one right here. Now starting from this image, it's now currently being made into video with very less distortions. How about let's try some more example. Let me just go to another Luma. Now for this Luma right here again, simply add your image. I'm gonna utilize the new image I got that I generated earlier. So we're gonna utilize that woman right there. Make sure that you remove this enhanced prompt. Simply type in a woman in a park. I'm just gonna support my image right here. Click on generate right there. So welcome back to the video. We have this next example right here. I know it's not moving a lot because I made sure it's just gonna smiling and blinking to consistently maintain those characters, especially the hair right there. Take note, this started as an image. There are very minimal to zero distortions on this video. Yes, I know that it's gonna be minimal movement, but again guys, it's a pretty perfect, less distorted video. Also, this is gonna be a free trial option. So take note about that one. Anyway, that is how you use the Fooled Flux AI. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.